So, we observe that a gas like this from the gaseous state goes into a, a gas plus liquid <coughs> state and then it goes completely to the liquid state, right? So, say, say a point here, say A is, is in the gaseous state, right? A is, point A is, point A represents the gaseous state, point, say D, is liquid state, completely liquid, completely liquid. And while it is moving from here to here, say C, this is gas plus liquid, okay? <coughs> so it is quite possible to do that. <coughs> so any, any gas below the critical temperature, you keep on compressing, a point comes in where the where the liquid appears and you keep on compressing till the whole of it gets converted into into the, at, uh, at the into into liquid liquid the pressure won't increase and then there will be a very very sharp increase in pressure right as you try to change it by by some amount so, so you can say that just for just for changing the volume so say say from v3 v3 to v2 where v2 is the lesser volume i have to increase the pressure from say here to here so so i'll say i'll say this is this is i'll say p2 and this is my p3 so delta P upon delta V value in the liquid state becomes very, very high, right? So, so P, P2 minus P3 upon, upon P2 minus P3 upon V3 minus V2 is very high in liquid state in liquid state so i can say that the that the mod of delta p upon delta v this is a negative value right this is a negative value no not this v2 minus v3 right this is a negative value why is it a negative value because in the straight lines you have you have seen that if, if, if this is considered as a straight line, then it has a negative slope. Why? Because it's making an obtuse angle, right? So that's why. <coughs> Liquid straight. This is lower. This is lower here, right? So, so the same volume change maybe, maybe would have demanded only this much change in pressure. You see that? only this much change in pressure for the same change in volume here in the gaseous state okay and is very small in gaseous state now from this curve it seems as if to to liquefy a gas we always have to pass through a two phase region what is the two phase region? Everything below this, right? That is a two phase region. Correct? Now, suppose, suppose I am saying I do not want to do that. Let us say I do not want to do that. Okay? I want to convert a gas into liquid by one phase system. Is it possible? The answer is yes, it is possible. So, so 
Do I erase this? Lying on the on what curve? Uh, when it is tra uh, transitioning from gas gaseous state to gaseous liquid state. What will be the state? Gas point. Sure. Yeah. It'll, it will it it is completely gas. Yeah. Here it is completely liquid. In between it is <coughs> mixture. It is wet gas. Hmm? At point C. At point C is gas plus liquid. Mm. You mean what? And we can find out how much of it is gas and how much of it is liquid. Because I know the pressure, I know the volume, I know the temperature, I know N. So I'll be able to know N, right? And you know by uh, with how much gas you started with. So you'll be able to calculate the N, uh, how much of it is remaining in gaseous state and the remaining has obviously converted into liquid state. Understand? Now, it is possible it is possible to convert a gas into liquid without passing through the two phase region. Without passing through the two phase region. How do I do that? Increase the temperature. Hmm? Increase the temperature. Convert, convert. Yes. This is convert. Now what happens? Let us say I have I have a I have my gas at at point this at twenty five degrees and twenty one point five degrees centigrade. Okay? So what I can do is, is keeping the volume the same, whatever is the volume here, at A, okay, gas is, gas is at A, that is 21.5 degree centigrade. Now what you do, you start heating it up. gas is at A and I heat it. So what happens? As I heat it, it starts jumping from one isotherm to other at constant volume, right? Is that this? We heat it at constant volume. So I take it from A to a point, say E, okay, to, to take it to point E at 31 degree centigrade. Okay. Now what you do, now you start compressing it, keeping the temperature constant. Okay. We can now compress it. Keeping the temperature constant. Say 31 degree centigrade. So what happens to take it to it to point F? So so from here, I say I take it to to say a point point. So 
or something like this. So I take it here to a point M here. So it's still a gas. It's still a gas. So it was a gas here, heated it, took it to F. Now there, I want to climb down. I want to climb down. What happens? You reduce the temperature. You let it hop from there to, to this. So from here, you let it come and hit it here. How do you do that? That is you reduce the temperature to say 30.98. Is it not? So, from here, we reduce the temperature to 30.98 degrees Celsius. We reduce the temperature and the moment, and the moment it comes at 30.98 degrees Celsius, it automatically converts into the liquid phase. Into the so liquid the phase. Not this is everything beyond this, no? Anything that touches this and goes away. Enters it and goes away or touches it and goes away. Only, only those isotherms are liquid. Mm -hmm. Correct. So you just bring it to that. Or we, we could have taken it to 30.98 and compressed, it would have become liquid. Suddenly. Correct. As I start increasing the temperature, See, the range, the volume range for which we have a gas plus liquid phase starts reducing till at this hump, till at this hump, say P, it becomes only 1, right? So what happens if I had that precision of increasing it to 30.98 and keep on compressing, at critical temperature, it would have suddenly become liquid without becoming a gas. That was also a way out. Okay? Or if the gas would have been compressed at the critical temperature, It would have, it would have suddenly turned into into liquid at once at point P. Okay, but this realization has to set in that as we keep on increasing the temperature, the gas plus liquid region, the volume, the volume range for the gas plus liquid region starts becoming lesser and lesser and lesser, right? As we increase the temperature, the volume range for which, the volume range for which, for which the, ga the, the system exists in a liquid plus gas phase starts becoming lesser and 
lesser till it reaches p where it becomes a point where it becomes a point right correct now if you see this diagram it is no wonder that we uh, we said in the beginning that the liquid state is actually an extension of the gaseous state it was not with some philosophy that we said it you can very well see that it is these isotherms which are suddenly continuous and they are continuous so there is not an abrupt change right the the the, the things are continuously changing so 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 really the liquid and the gas the, the liquid state is actually an extension of the yeah. gaseous state and it is no wonder both of them are together called a fluid okay the liquid and the gaseous states are continue continuously extendable into each other hence together they are called together they are called fluids okay their properties are very similar as as far as the flow is concerned right though obviously the equations change the same gaseous equation does not does not apply to to the left hand side of this right right there are the properties of the bulk of matter come into play the mechanical properties of solids fine 